Welcome back to Craft Stick Crafts YouTube channel. I have a few things to show you today on shop tricks. So, first thing I want to show you is um, you always want to save your scraps. I have bags of scrap pieces that uh, craft sticks, yard sticks, any of the sticks, and then uh, they didn't bend up very well. So uh, I save them. We use them for parts. And then also uh, when we're, you know, cutting something off of one end, you know, keep those scraps because they're going to come in real useful for making smaller parts. So uh, this is just uh, my supply bags. I keep them handy for when I do need to use them. So in measuring, you know, you could do the old fashioned way, which is, you know, fine. We've got, uh, you know, inch and five eighths there and then transfer that inch and five eighths here and then cut it. Or you can, you know, we want the same look here of these, uh, the ends. Or just put it there and mark. Once again, so if you, you know, if you go like this, that's not going to work. So, and that's kind of cumbersome, but uh, if you go like this and mark it, then uh, you'll have a, an easier chance. So then you can come, and we have several, excuse me, have several cutting instruments, but we use these snippers, work real well for this type. And then we also have like a garbage bin. So, you know, for these parts that are too small or all bent up out of shape, excuse me, then we just cut them right off into the bin and be done. That way they're not flying all over the shop. And then we can place and glue. Come on, stand up. There we go. So anyhow, that's uh, building a tree house. So set those pieces aside. What we're doing here is uh, we got this old, it's a metal truck, plastic bottom. Uh, it's still dirty from the yard sale I bought it from. But uh, we're going to have to run it through the car wash. But what we're doing with this is we're building a canopy. So we're going to always have some unusual, you know, clamping things that we're doing. And you have to be patient with this craft. You know, we glued these two up and set it into, you know, set it up for about a half hour before we went on. The, uh, the glue we use, Elmer's new formula wood glue is the best that we've tested all the rest. And this is the one that we use and sets up the best. So anyhow, we're building a canopy here. That's going to go on. I'm going to put some windows in there. One of the key elements you want to consider is um, I like to do my spacing where if a guy wanted to, he can add another stick in between. So like the, these spacing here for this uh, fence they're exactly the same distance apart because I used the spacer and that will allow me to in the future if I wanted to build a canopy above this like a little porch roof then I could add those sticks right in between the support posts and also another thing we like to do is is double up so this only has uh, one rail, and so in the future we might we might bend another piece and glue that up with another rail going around it. And what that will do is it excuse me with another rail in between there with two, then you could insert the piece and have things come off and on. With one rail, you can't, you know, you can't insert something and take it on and off um, because it'll fall. 
So that's why sometimes we use a, a two rail system. And that's true with this guy here where we might choose to put a piece across a piece across here and then we could insert this other tongue depressor and make like a, a movable part so that's been real handy in some of the things I've made this is a, a hanger it's not strong enough for coats but you could double up you could double up the uh, the popsicle sticks and make it strong enough also make them smaller but this was originally designed for um, hanging things in the kitchen we've got some Playmobil size buckets we're making for them to play with off of the treehouse so uh, this is uh, bent bass wood we bent around a battery then we bent some more stir sticks bent some more stir sticks around the battery and then we we're able to support and secure the top of the barrel and the bottom and the bottom of the barrel is just really thin plywood we cut out with using this tool which shows up on another video that I made this is a play mat it's uh, been a real workhorse for us so that's uh, the latest shop tricks and tips hope you're having fun look forward to seeing your stuff on our website if you uh, if you want you can send us uh, your images and projects you're doing and we'll post them very good. Thank you and have a good day.